doing Lord of the Rings? I don't know. It could be that or Terminator. It's hard to tell. I could be anything. There's so many things that have that. Yeah. How we used to march is just that. Yeah, I would say it sounds like a march to me. Yeah, like we would just be marching and the drum line would just, they'd just like. I'm writing! Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, we're going back. I'm Aaron. <laughs> That's Rick. And I'm Eric. <laughs> and we're back with Blood <laughs> For the finale. Oh yeah, it is a finale. This is the season finale. Mm. Season one finale. Uh, Giants are back. More than just Zeus's blood this time. Zeus be stabbed. Apollo be smashed. Giants are resurrected. Yep. <laughs> Crazy uh, stuff. Meat be beat. Meat be beat. That sounds fun to say. say. Meat be beat. Meat be beat. Meat be beat. You, you smi you're smiling Meet a little bit. I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> you can see Meet. smiling in my eyes. I can. I'm not smiling. I never uh, smile. He smiles. Meet BB. Look at that. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> uh oh. No. It's crumbling. Hera. Okay. Hera. I remember in the Kevin Sorbo one, you'd always just see eyes in the sky, and it was Hera, like, looking at him. Disappointed! Man, we should watch. We should react to that. Yeah, we need to react to that. Can't believe they let that in the final. Hey, she's got um, her goat. Yeah, that's Heracles. Giants of it? the deep, hear me. Are the other gods You're cool not with this? Be able to control them. I have your soul. Sole, 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 sole. Oh, oh no, she didn't do it. This took her soul, soul back. Yep. All right, fine. You're gonna listen to me here. All right, bitch. I think that one's a woman. How many is she gonna be left with? I didn't like that one either. That one. one uh, even the picture there is gross. Yeah. What a rush. Help me kill Zeus. Help me kill Zeus. Zeus is alive. Oh, he's not dead. I'll see yours again. How does Poseidon feel about this? Right? Oh, yeah, how's the other but guy? Hey, is there? wait a minute. This is bullshit! This maybe, is bullshit! Maybe Hera's gonna make Poseidon There he is! Her. He's gonna be pissed. Come on, Poseidon, be mad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just... <laughs> Come on. Good thing this whole place has water. Whoa. Guys, we totally fucked oh! up. Calvin's so damn wrong! Ha -ha! Ah. Rip my shirt. The uncle's coming back, baby! <laughs> I'll go. I'll find it. Ares will see you coming. The one Hera would most expect. I'll go. Hmm. You. I will take the ring to Mordor. He's even smaller than them. Yeah. <laughs> He's not a mortal. He's my son. Battle Zeus! Like Dionysus is flushed. Name He's of drunk right now. The <laughs> show! That's not what they say. <laughs> ah, automaton, automatons. Roger, 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 Roger. Oh, cool. Roger, Roger, Roger. They're gonna launch automatons. Nice. Are they? Yeah. Are they those? Yeah, yeah, they go into little balls. And they go. Ah, oh, suit up. And then the demons too. Mm -hmm. Oh, Doc Ock, with titties. <laughs> no army has ever taken Olympus. It has no army will. Peace. <laughs> that, that means war, Eric. It's the opposite. <laughs> Peace. Those aren't turning into automatons. Throw some lightning. There's a scorpion? I thought it was a crab. 
I said it was a scorpion. It's got a scorpion tail. It's, it's a not bad. Oh, tornado. Cool. Gotta find the cauldron. Oh. Um, there you go, Eric. He's back. Well, <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Oh. Whoa. He is absorbing. Damn, it shoots lasers? It shoots lasers. Yes, Zeus. Ah, uh, this is like Thor and Wakanda. Yeah, it is. What is that one doing? It's Mothra. It's like a yeah, it's like lasering the ground as a ghost. Giving you all skin oh, cancer. Oh, it's a gravity oh, well. That's uh, not skin cancer. That's horrible. Oh, holy God. fuck, man! That's the worst. Oh, See the God, skeleton? You're them and shit. And you can fly. <laughs> yep. oh, get off the yeah. ground. <laughs> like laser. Acid wine. It's so alcoholic. All right, Poseidon, this is your chance. Use this is the only time the you're water. ever gonna be useful. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. It's like high pressure water. Light electrifying. It's a good conductor. Oh, God. Whoa. That's not how electricity works. It is. It's it a good day. And that's Calvin. Magic Zeus. It wants to be. Oh. Thank you, brother. brother. Sidon goes into battle and puts on less armor. <laughs> what else? Oh, damn. It's a titty slug oh. one. Dara. Dara. Sweet. 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 Oh, oh shield. Oh, Ooh, God. look at that whip. It's a thorn whip. Wow. That's insane. Oh. Birds have it in the sky. I think I know where the cauldron is. The birds holding it in the sky be safe, be so safe. Yes, they do. <coughs> Fuck you, oh, birds! Just, Calvin, this is your moment. Oh, they split! Wow! Oh, they're attacking. Now, quickly, Dive, dive, dive. Is he destroyed? No, he's he still needs a gauntlet, it. right? Just capture? Oh, yeah, I think so. Oh. You need to get to the souls back in. Shoot him with an arrow. Distract him. Oh, I forgot about you. Hera, please. I feel like it's too late to get her to stop. You did this to yourself. <laughs> oh. No. This thing's gonna eat her. Hera. Makes sense. Oh my gosh! Aha! Oh shit! Ah, oh. another bird! No! Ah! Oh. Just get self-destruct. Yes! Jeez! Shit. Yep. Hera, float him, maybe. Shit! Oh my god! Jesus Christ! Oh, oh they got that thing. He can control the giants. I want the owl to do something like fucking shit out bombs or something. <laughs> You thought it was a good idea. It wasn't. Great job. <laughs> now you're fucked. Fucking idiots. You got a Zeus. You got the cauldron. Now you're dead. Oh, you're lucky. Man, your brother saved you. You're lucky the good guys are here. Ah! Well, let's save him. It's okay. Oh, no, he's man. getting sucked. Are you kidding me? No, Poseidon! Poseidon! 
Where is Hades? Oh. I don't know. Things look terrible. <laughs> All of this benefits Hades. Where'd Harry go? Shit. There's no one left to stop me. Huh? Oh, uh -huh. Boomerang, bitch. Ooh, damn. Get him in a headlock. Okay, they caught him. All right. No! Oh, it no! It's okay. Yeah. Oh. Try Damn! Kick. Arrows. Find the chink in the eye. Oh, shit! Yeah! <laughs> that was a hell of a hit. That's strength. Oh, jeez. Is that in his mouth? Yeah, went through like his cheek. Turn. Oh, I thought I'd go all the way through. As we all are, brother. Hmm. I was hoping to be able to save this twin. Trying to call the spear. Yeah, it's not coming. It just took a really long time. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Who's this? Uh, I think it was the originals. You've used my Bident well. Yeah. Hades. It was his bite. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> Kneel. He won't do that. He's done kneeling. He's tired of kneeling to gods. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Yeah, I remember from the first one being like, I thought the guy with the trident or the Biden wasn't Poseidon, but I couldn't, I didn't know it was Hades. Yeah. Apparently it is. Hmm. Now Seraphim has another master. I thought you when you were saying the original, it was like, you're like, it's one of the Titans. It's there. No, I thought it was another gods. I just didn't know which one it was. And I kind of just forgot about it. <laughs> but it's, it's cool that it's, it's so Hades is, that he's been using this whole time. Zeus is the the first son of Kronos. No. And Hades is the second, and, and Poseidon is the third, so they go by, like, number of no, points on there. There were other siblings. Zeus was, like, the newest one who rebelled, wasn't he? Yeah, I thought Zeus was the youngest. I thought yeah. he, like, there was a pattern of him eating them, and the mom was like... Yeah, there was, well, there was a more. prophecy that one of his sons would destroy Kronos, so Kronos would, every time they would have a new son, he would eat them. And then uh, they smuggled out Zeus... I think, right? Yeah, they replaced him with a stone. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I thought he was a later one or the last one. Yeah. <coughs> People are so gullible. Yeah. <laughs> Replacing the map with a piece of paper. But once they Replacing defeated the, the stone. Once they defeated the Titans, then they had to divide the world up in their rules. So Zeus took the sky, Poseidon the water, and uh, Hades the underworld. And they're all three happy with it. They all thought they had the best deal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right, well, this is a fun series. I mean, it feels like, I mean, it could keep going. If it wants to keep going, it, you know, the that's the thing about the underworld, and this sh you could come back, <laughs> you know? Maybe, yeah. Nessius came back. What happens to them? Yeah. Like, what happens to Zeus? Uh, Where does he go? Yeah. 
can he be brought back? Like Hera survived, at the very least. Yeah, we don't know what happened with Hera. They don't say anything. Like, is she, like... Will she be a villain next she time? In jail, <laughs> you know? Does Hera on, like, just, ah, I guess I'll have to marry her. Just don't <laughs> cheat on her. <laughs> yeah, like, will Hera on take Zeus's place? Yeah. Or is he still, like, a demigod? I don't know, but he was able to summon the lightning. It's true. Which is pretty crazy. Did not expect that. I thought he was going to use it to heal, but he used it to blow up. Yeah. See, the couple things I'm wondering, loose end-wise, is just, like, is there, like, if they did more, like, there could be, like, well, what's going on with Hades mm -hmm. and Seraphin? Like, they could be, he, it could just be a thing, like, here's your hell, you must kneel to me, well, you yeah. know? But, like, and he's just like, I'm going to do be, that, yeah. so I'm going to go to hell. He and there's not, there's not really much more there. But the other one, I'm like, well, where did Hera go? Like, we didn't see where she went. She lost her arm and yeah. flew away. Yeah. So, she could come back, cause problems, mm -hmm. or maybe not. Maybe she calmed down after Zeus's sacrifice to still save her after she was trying to just murder everybody. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, did they burn that giant? Are the demons still there? I, know. I mean, I don't even know where the giant is. Wasn't yeah, that's that, true. They moved it. They wasn't that the giant there. that was in Hades? I don't think that was the giant. I think that was, what did you say? Tartarus? Whatever. Yeah, that's Tartarus. Okay. You mean the big helmet looking thing? Yeah. Yeah. I Well, isn't that the one that we saw? It's the same one that we saw when they were in the fields of whatever. The field of the dead. Field of the dead. And then the, all the all the I don't think it was demons the same, were around it. I don't think it was the same uh it's shockingly thing. similar then. I don't it think it was the wasn't that all an illusion? Yeah, I I, I know, but it, it it could be an illusion of something that's real. Of the body that they're eating of. Yeah. So uh, I was they, thinking, like, well, what if they, like, because they moved the body. We have no idea where they moved the body to. Would they be able to what move it What if they moved it to Hades? It to Hades? No, 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 I don't think the body that, damn, I can't remember what the body looked like. Because I don't think the body that he ate from had, like, a head thing. I don't know if that had a head. I think it had a head. It might, it might have. I don't remember which body it was. Yeah, like, what happened to that? And therefore, all the demons, like, what's gonna happen? Is Hades the new bad guy? Does he want to take over? Is Heron the new yeah. Zeus? I, I kind of took it as it could be that Hades is, like, making a play, but it also could be that Hades is doing what he does, which is punish, puts you where you need to be. True. With Zeus being gone, he could try to take more ownership of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's very possible. <sighs> Malik, the flashback thing and everything was really good, I thought, for the most part. And you see a lot more similarities between the two different backgrounds, the way they did it, too. Where, like, yeah. you see you see the uh, Seraphim, like, no! And then later on, you see Heron be like, no! Like, both mm -hmm. when their moms are being killed and stuff. And yeah. Just some different things like that. But I also liked the flashbacks to, like, Zeus's wink and stuff, and Hera's like from the first episode. thinking about that. Yeah, and, you know, yeah. Like, I like some of that stuff too. Like that was really good. He sacrificed himself for. Him. Yeah. <clears throat> so came the and actually, that's what happened to the flying dude, wasn't it? That the, he, the didn't he didn't Hera get sucked into that? He popped in there and just blew it all apart into pieces. Yeah. Yeah. I hate that flying thing. That was the worst one. No, not the bat one. I'm talking about the one that could like he grew into a tornado. All right. Like his, his no, body, yeah, you're right. Like I'm, plates I, and stuff separated. Yeah, and there was like a typhoon. That's how. Him. That's how Zeus killed that one. Like, but now I just can't not think of that fucking flying giant. I, I hate it. The manta. Yeah, the, the, like, it just slowly goes over and it's like a UFO picks you up and it's. Yeah. It's a Roomba. <laughs> it is a Roomba. <laughs> yeah, I hated it. The is like acid just melts and eats you. Ugh. So slowly. Is, is Evios and Kofi are they like demigods now, or are they just mortals hanging out? I doubt they're demigods. They're just but yeah. Cool dude. They just give it a good, good spot. Mm -hmm. Like, thank they're you for helping us. By the cool weapons. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, they were the ones that sold the demon carcass or the giant carcass. The giant to begin carcass. With. Yeah. yeah. I was, I'm, I was happy that it was that, and not slavery. <laughs> this was a hell of a adventure because it went from such like small things. I feel like of like. Mm -hmm. Just Start with Heron mining. In a, in, a, in a pulley, right? Like, mining and trying to live, eating grass, right? All that kind of stuff. Eating grass. And then it ended with oh, fighting giants and Olympus with gods. Yeah. And, like, it was just crazy. It's not that I don't, like, like it or say it's negative, but a lot happened in eight episodes of this. More happened in eight episodes of this than Castlevania. Yeah. I feel like. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I get you. I understand that. 
there was a very fast pace. Didn't feel like it was too fast though. Just felt like we were watching like a history documentary. There was a lot of death. There was a lot of death. There's been a lot of death. Yeah, I mean, I, I do kind of feel like, you know, our, you know, with it being eight episodes, maybe you could have made it ten and maybe fleshed out a little bit more of, like, relationship between, like, Alexia and, and Heron because, like, at one point, you know, they kind of, like, flash back to, like, you know, is that your girlfriend, you know, but I never felt anything between those two, really, you know? Yeah. Um, or, or they could have fucking oh, like the yeah. bird gave comment. a sentence about the map. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could have had a little bit more room to breathe. But with it being an animation show, I, I I don't hold it up to that standard really. And while I absolutely love I love the art design, the animation was like um, seven out of ten for me. Some of it was tremendous. Mm-hmm. Some of like it was tremendous. Some of it with, was not great. With Hermes and Apollo. Like that, that shit was great. Yeah. yeah, a lot of it, uh, not a lot of it, but there were times where like it would just hold on to a scene for way too long, and, yeah. like no one would be moving. Yeah, there was a time like Every that music, with the mom and Zeus, where I'm like, what's going on here? Yeah, <laughs> I was just kind of confused as to the reasoning as to why they were. Yeah, and you know, I mean, it, we watch a lot of like CG animation stuff now, where you know they kind of can create or simulate a 24 frames a second look. Regular animation is about 12 frames per second, but there were moments here where I felt like it was like three or four. Yeah. You know? And there were a few moments where I felt like... Especially when he woke up in... At least in this episode, when he woke up in Olympus, he was kind of like... Was it? Yeah. I didn't feel that. Yeah. I, I... That part, at least that part, and that like, happened a couple of times. Like it was just series. slow? Yeah. There were a yeah. few times where it seemed like they were not cheating on the animation, but they... Yeah, no, I mean, it happens... But I've just seen it done so well in other stuff. Yeah, like it's very, very storyboardy. Yeah, it does. It seems storyboardy. Like it's like they didn't have like as many oh, in between okay. or. You know what I'm saying? I, I guess. Like, like it's, it's pretty not clunky. There's. It's not as smooth. I guess. Yeah. I mean. <clears throat> I don't know. Fucking Frodo wakes up out of bed and goes slow too. No, he does, but you know. <laughs> slow motion, Aaron. <laughs> yeah. Like, God, no. yeah. But I mean, it's also just it's a product of what it is. Like these, th- this is a specific style. It's this Western animation, primarily drawn, created in a computer, and, and animated that way, as opposed to you know the classic stuff we've seen. But we've also seen that classic stuff done well as well with this style. Um, so, like I said, I like the art uh, direction, art design. And the animation had moments of amazingness, and the other moments of it felt like it was cutting a couple corners. But it's also like, well, this is Netflix giving a bunch of money, you know, like, to, like, what do we do? They generally will send stuff like this overseas to get animated while the story's being worked on here and stuff like that. So, you know, but Avatar did the same thing and never had moments of that. Yeah, I didn't think the animation overall was as good as Castlevania. Yeah. But... I did really like the art style of this. Yeah. Like, it's kind of similar to Castlevania's art style. Like, a mm-hmm. lot of the people were really pale, yeah. you know? Hmm. Um, and like, especially in, like, the well, night shots. Vampires, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> Not in this, no. Like, like, just, like, some of the, like, people people. Yeah. Were, people people. Were, were, like, kind of pale as well. Uh, yeah. And, and the way things were lit at night, it mm-hmm. kind of reminded me of it a little bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like a very blue, dark. But you don't get a lot of, like... Olympus stuff in Castlevania. You yeah. Know? There's not a lot of like color. Sure. And, like daylight. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, like the moments that I saw that I was like, that one didn't do it for me, would perfectly have the absolute os- opposite. I'm like, this one's definitely doing it for me, you know? Mm. So, yeah, it was def- definitely, definitely It's achieved. like a, like an average of zero where like the plus is out, like balance the I'm just saying like the bad moments take like what are some like nine out of tens overall down to like a six or a seven out of ten. Probably seven out of ten for me. Hmm. There's also some moments of sound mixing that were crazy. <laughs> like it was so loud and I can't fucking hear anything that people are saying. <laughs> yeah. But I did like the music. Yeah, I liked all the voice actors. I like the sound design, like the actual uh, what they, you know, you never like messed up what was happening with that staff. If it was coming or going, it was like, you know, yeah. it had a very specific design where you felt like 
even if we're seeing a straight line, you can feel it rounding out, you know? Yeah, you can feel really it moving good. past you. Yeah. And you can feel the violence, too. Like, mm -hmm. you could feel the punches, you could feel the disembowelments. Yeah. yeah. There was definitely a lot of... I don't know of any other way to call it, but, like, inertia mm -hmm. in the animation. Yeah. Like, everything felt like it had a weight. A weight it to it. Drawn. Okay. And I really like that. Yeah, I agree. Because uh, there's some times where, like, it feels like there's no effort when you, like... When you throw a baseball, like there's a windup, true, and it yeah. looks like it follows the speed of your hand as it leaves. Uh -huh. Where sometimes in some animation, like it just, it, it doesn't feel the same. I, I agree. Like when it counted, it definitely had that. Sometimes I felt like it lacked, it, it lacked uh, seeing a character breathe. Like yeah. there was like characters completely, you know, there wasn't like the was like, and then the throw, you know, where yeah. like you know, Avatar was always really good with that because it's. You know, Aang, by the way, he does things is about breath, you know? And same thing with the the Fire Nation and stuff like Zuko. that. So they would just mm -hmm. automatically have that in there, whereas this sometimes felt like more of like a really well-animated, like, uh, video game as opposed to live action, you know? Like, in terms of, like, what you're trying to capture is what I mean, you know? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Like, I can't blur my eyes and imagine that's what someone really moves like, you know? Like, ha half the time in animation, just, like, trying to, th like, I know some animators don't even bother with it, but, like, you can drive yourself crazy trying to think, okay, are they breathing in or exhaling, and when do they do it? Do they breathe in and then do this motion and then exhale? You know, like, they, they'll drive themselves crazy trying to figure it out because for an actor, it's so easy to just have them, all right, go do this thing, and they do that, you don't even think about it. Yeah. But an animator starts thinking about it, and they're like, well, fucking, I lost count. Is he breathing in or out? <laughs> you <laughs> he breathed in twice. His lungs are exploding. <laughs> yeah. I, don't know. I guess I don't look at the animation the same as, especially Rick or you. Mm -hmm. I guess so. I didn't notice too much of that. Yeah. Like lots of things. Like I felt like the, the, the moment I really remember was a moment that was in the I don't know second third episode when it was focused on the relationship with Zeus and Electra. Yeah. And like there was some conversations Zeus they were and having who, and stuff too. Huh? Zeus and who? Electra. That's oh. um, the mom. Her name was Electra. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, um, their their conversation and stuff. There was just some moments where like it was like staying on. They were like staring at each other, and then it's like I'm like I'm not sure what they're doing, and like, sure. I didn't get like uh, I was looking more like facial features for like is there love or confusion yeah. or like and I wasn't sure what I was supposed to be getting at those moments. But besides that, I don't remember any other moments that were like weird or anything. Yeah, like, I didn't even, like even the getting out of bed. Like I was just kind of watching. I'm like oh man, good. I'm mm -hmm. surprised he's alive. Sure, you I get you. Yeah. But that one there was one where I'm trying to, like, what are they thinking? I don't know. Yeah. Which I, like, there were... I think that like, one's a bigger issue than, like... I think that's a bigger issue to me than, like, like the... Like, I get what you meant on, like, the bed one, too, when he's, like, getting up. And you're, like, it's not quite as smooth. But I got the message that was being conveyed. Yeah, no, I, I definitely get you. I got it there, whereas, like, the other one, I'm, like, I don't know how I'm supposed to feel yeah. here. Sure. Which I think is a bigger issue. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're able to get a, a little more immersed in that. And I, I feel like I, I felt that too, but there was just, I don't know, there's just like sometimes there's just like a little like thing in the back of my head where I'm like, this feels strange, this shot. It just you reminds know? you that it's animated. True. Yeah. 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 And it's not, what? It's, and it's not a, <laughs> am I, do I think it's that? not a problem. Like, does that happen you to know? people? Well, I mean, uh, sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you okay. can, you, sometimes you just get lost in it, you know? I don't yeah, think I've ever like, had that happen. <laughs> Well, it, it's yeah. like it's weird. I don't know. I mean, that's why I'm, I'm curious because, like, for me, like, I'm like, it's anime. I know it is. Well, so, but like, uh, it's it's something in live action where you see a bad effect. It's like you know you're really caught up in the story and yeah. you're like there and there and there and then all of a sudden you see like it takes you out. Yeah, yeah like when I watch like a performance of Gollum from Lord of the Rings, there's times where I just don't think about that this is a CG character. Yeah, you know, I mean, yeah. I, I'm just there. And then there's other moments where I see it, and I'm like, eh, there's a problem here. There's a problem with the yeah. shadow and stuff. You I know? guess I get what you mean. It's, I'm not immersed to that at that moment. Like, you're just watching a story, and then something weird happens. Yeah. That's like, eh, a cartoon. You like, know, that, sometimes kind of, I have to, like, kind of like what you, you just did. Well, like, yeah. sometimes if someone says, hey, watch this with this in mind, though, and you're like, oh, okay, I notice it now, you know? I've done that, too. Like, you know, you watch a fight scene, and you're like, the first time you watch like, man, that was amazing, flawless. And then someone's like, well, look at... You know, this and this. Two minutes, fifteen seconds. See the guy in the background? He just falls over because he missed his mark. I'm like, well, yeah, I see that now. You know, <laughs> and that, that stuff happens. So it's not, you know, like it's, it's something that happens in all productions. You can all, you can, you know, break it down. But it was just something that throughout the show there were moments of, uh, of a little bit of stiltedness that 
I usually don't see, so I don't catch. So I don't know if it was prevalent here or I was just noticing it more, mm. you know? Uh, I did like, generally, I loved all the music. Mm. I loved all the title sequences where that were individual to each episode. Mm. Yeah. That was really fantastic. I like how you could recognize what the, yeah. the title was. Like the theme of it. didn't, like, spoil it. The themes worked really well. Like yeah. I liked how the Fate episode had the spider webs. And yeah. I liked how like the killing of the uncle uh -huh. had the blood thing. And I also really liked how the one had like the flower blue yeah. growing thing, you know? Like, like the roses. Like those ones really yeah. stand out as far as like related to the episode of what was mm -hmm. going on. And I really like the <clears throat> uh, I call them like Hiro Kojima cutscenes. Where yeah. it's like action and then it shows Title. credits. And yeah, then action and service credits, especially yeah. the one with Hermes, where he was like just running around. Yeah, that the was Hermes cool. one was pretty like, cool. Weave it into uh, the credits in and out of yeah. it. I thought that I, was really. Yeah, cool. I love those. Towards the beginning of the show, I felt like the voices were a little tiny bit bland for me, but that completely left. I don't know when, like halfway through, towards the end, I really, I felt like all the voices were pretty distinct. Hmm. Okay. And in eight episodes, like I felt. Loss for the characters that we lost, yeah. even if they were only in like an yeah. episode or two. Yeah, like that giant woman. That giant woman with the axe, man. Oh. I didn't know she didn't even talk. She didn't have a single line. They didn't leave any coins for her either. I still don't know which one was Aphrodite. <laughs> Tell me, man, it's a purple chick with big titties. It, it could have been. I You're like, she's one... got cleavage. I'm like, hair has cleavage. Yep. I think it's the one that <laughs> is chatting up by the pool. Maybe. <laughs> But he if never you knew if you knew a god was yeah. was known for that. Yeah. I feel like a guy like him would be going for that. Did uh did Heron ever once use the sword that was built for him other than never. throwing it? He He never used it. He picked he, it up and I he kept slung it. He I kept it expecting it. him to finally yeah. pick up the sword. I did too, because it was like made by Zeus for him. Yeah. He picked it up and he threw it, and then uh Seraphim took it, and then he fought with it up until fighting with Talos yeah. mm -hmm. down at the cauldron and then he left it there and then we never saw it again. So and eventually Heron's just like, here's a bow and arrow. When we set up these two awesome like, you know, weapons that I thought were gonna like come together and clash and stuff, you know, like the sword of Zeus and the you know, what we know now is the Biden of, of Hades. That that was gonna be a thing, but they're just like, ah fuck it, he gets both, you can have this. Well I think <laughs> I think they did that too, where like they said this is a sword that can cut through anything. Yeah. Like, well, okay, we need something really strong so you can defeat Talos and get the cauldron. But yeah. we can't have Heron use it because if Heron use it, then the Biden it get a cut through it too. Yeah. You know, so like he can never use this to be able to fight him yeah. and try because he's just gonna win. Like in my head, like uh, if I put this in like the like a video game or uh, like a D and D campaign, it's like go to the top of the mountain, get this ore, and we will forge you a mighty sword. I'm like, all right, yeah, adventure's getting started. And I play the whole game without actually using it. Like, God damn it! That's Give me that sword! That's because on the third run, you decided to just chuck it and you didn't want it. I guess so. <laughs> I will say, though, like, besides that, they, they used him with bows and arrows a lot, and he and was it. really efficient with them. Yeah. Like, the very first one, he broke a big old piece of wood to knock down a giant boulder with a single arrow, you know? He did. It's like, damn, that's crazy. It was and also then, during their first fight he was using a bow and arrow. A so. single shot, he took out that satyr, you know? Mm -hmm. And then they give him a super bow and arrow. So. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty good. Mm-hmm. It worked out. Anything else? Uh, no, I think that's it. I enjoyed the series. I am excited to see if they are going to do more, but if there wasn't, I'd still be happy. I think it ended in a satisfying enough spot where, like, if there's no more, I'm okay. If there yeah. is some, then it also makes some sense, you know? I, it's, it's serviceable yeah. enough and end... That if it never came back, then I, I wouldn't be disappointed. But I would be very appointed mm -hmm. if it did. I love the art design and the vision so much that I want to see more stuff from those creators, those artists. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Like there's we really well designed, cool looking things put on the screen. Definitely. You like know? the mechanical soldiers. Those yeah. Are great. Well, this is the same things, same creators from Castlevania, right? Is that what it was? I think so. It had a relation to Castlevania. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Although, I think they're also working on the Devil May Cry series. But Ooh. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Ooh. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, no, this had a much more satisfying ending than the first season of Castlevania. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
so yeah, I could go either way. Like, I really like this. I enjoyed the ride, but I would love to see more too. And if it does well, or mm -hmm. I don't know what how Netflix determines the budgets or not, but yeah. if I could see that fight against the gods in that arena for eight episodes, yeah, that's what I want. Yeah. <laughs> it also, we also started watching this at a decent time too, where like you had just been playing Hades. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was just playing Immortals. I played like, God of War. <laughs> these, yeah, these like Greek games that we were playing yeah. too also kind of fit into this, which was really cool. So, yeah, uh, Alan, you're playing Ghost of Sheen. That doesn't. Help. Yep. No. no. The bombs, grenades on birds. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people have asked me in the past, like, hey, if you ever want to have, like, a Legend of Zelda movie or television show, and I've always said, like, maybe, but, I mean, I think it works really well as a video game, but I don't know how much, like, that story translates to a narrative that you just watch, but if I had to do something, I might get these guys to do something, because I feel like it would translate pretty well there. You want to be more gruesome? Uh, not necessarily gruesome, but I love the design of the world and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. But not the gore side of things. Yeah, that, like, yeah. Cut that part out. Yeah, no, I mean, it. you could have gore, it but it can be monster gore. What happens in, in uh, people. Does it happen the same? It kind of happens a similar way in Breath of the Wild. Mm -hmm. Like, when you kill something, it falls, and then it goes... Yeah. In Immortals, like, when you get that last hit on it that kills it, yeah. they always launch, and they disintegrate into, like, really? smoke. They're like... Hmm. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Well, huh. in God of War, you just rip them apart, and their guts all over you. That matches with this. Yes. Like, that's yeah. different. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, fun series. Um, excited to see what comes from these people next. Yes. Who is the most foolish god? The god who follows. God. Uh, uh. <laughs> 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 no, I don't know. Uh, the most foolish god. Um, I don't know, but Dionysus had some fucking acid wine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dipped a swig and spit in the demon's face and it melted. It was kind of cool. That was kind of cool. I mean, it had to be Hera. She made just real bad decisions. She ended up regretting everything. I mean, she was, she was emotionally motivated she by was it. Though, like, like, maybe like, Ares, okay. too. She wasn't in her right state of mind. She was so angry. I, I think it might be Ares. I think it might be everybody who followed Hera. Yeah. Because once she starts raising giants, like, hang on, hang on. Your feud with Zeus, you're, you're, you're th not thinking correctly here. But this is a bad idea. You like, that. Th they did that because they were afraid of her, not because they agreed with her. And Zeus was also afraid of her. So I don't feel like... Was he? Yeah. Hey, I know, but like, if I'm like, all right, you know what? Like, I'm on this person's side. I'm on their side. And they were like, all right, yeah, well, we're going to fight this war. We're going to raise Hitler and the Nazis to do it. I'm like, I might be like... I don't know if I'm on the right side anymore. <laughs> it, it, I don't think Zeus was afraid of Hera. If Zeus wasn't afraid he of her, he wouldn't he have hid um, his son and his... At one point, he, he said he was afraid of her. I think he was ashamed. There's, I think she was afraid of him. I don't think he was afraid of her. He was worried of what she would do with others. He also loved her and didn't want to kill her or hurt her. That's why he's saving her life from the giants. So I don't think it's a matter that he's afraid of her. Like he could have killed her. I don't. You know, he could have taken her out. She could have not been a problem anymore. I don't but know. But I think though. his mixture of love and worry of how crazy she's gonna be to the people that he also cares about as well. That's why he hid them. Maybe not because but... of his fear for her, of her, but her fear of her to them. Maybe. But like it seemed like, and maybe Zeus wasn't fighting as full power, but it seemed like they were fighting almost to a draw. Like they were gonna kill each other. With power? You say like a no. two, see episode when? two or three, he said like I'm afraid of her. He, he did definitely say he that. He said that, didn't he? Uh, did he? I no. saw. You're asking a question. Yeah, I'm asking for an answer. I think, I think Poseidon said you're afraid of her, and he said no. I'm just, I'm, I'm worried about what she'll do, or, or something like that. Um, maybe. There was a line of. But to your point, I, I get what you mean. Fool to follow. What was it? Fool to follow her. Or you're, whatever. you're a fool to follow her, and Poseidon said, "No, you're a fool to anger her." Yeah, yeah Poseidon was definitely something like that. that. Something like that. But I don't know. I'm free. I, I, I felt like Zeus could just like if he wanted to take her out, he could have taken her out. But I thought he loved her, and that wasn't an option for him. Thus, it's like, well, now she's crazy. We've got to manage. He this. was going to when he when he saw what she did to uh, Electra. <sighs> yeah, maybe. But Poseidon stopped it. But I think that's also like that's trying the, to stop I think that's more. also another emotional thing, right? Yeah. More similar to like what Hera was doing with all the giants. Mm -hmm. Like he was hitting this emotional peak and was gonna strike back and but yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I'm saying everyone who followed Hera, they're the fools. 
Yeah, because they were making a decision from a rational point of view rather they than from been. a They shouldn't have had that anger. emotion, right? I shouldn't have. I mean, mm. maybe maybe I'm giving Ares too much credit. He seems like an angry guy. <laughs> like, just, just fuck everything up, cause war, I love it. Did he ever have a line? Ares? Yeah. 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 He what had a few. I like, can't remember what his voice was like. This is, this is disgraceful. Oh, okay. I think you're right. Yeah. Every time I saw him, I thought you'd be like, you should be played by John Berthall. Yeah. John Berthall. Yeah. John Berthall would have... No, as when they do a live action. He, he seemed like that guy's face. <coughs> yes. This independently <laughs> arrived at design. Mm -hmm. All right, well, fun show. Thank you guys for following along with us, and uh, look forward to more. <laughs> Thank you for watching this entire show along with us. Uh, this was one that we just wanted to do. Um, we happen to do these randomly. So make sure you subscribe so you find out when we do other shows that we want to do randomly. Also, check out patreon.com slash blindwave where we have the full length of all these episodes. Check it out.